let's look at compression with the bzip2 utility on Linux machines so first of all i have a machine and there is a data file right here if i want to compress this file i can use the bzip2 utility now i don't have it by default on this machine but if i did um, i could just use it so i'm going to go ahead and install it right now if you are using something Red Hat based, you probably do a yum install bzip2. And this is Ubuntu, so this is a Ubuntu based apt install bzip2. And then I will go ahead and compress it with bzip2 so bzip right there. And you can see that it creates this new file. It replaces it with the .bz2 extension. If I wanted to decompress it, I can do a b unzip2 on this file right there and extract it. If I want to do an entire directory, bzip2 doesn't do individual files very well, so you want to do it as an entire archive. So usually use tar and cvf. But because it's bzip as opposed to something else, you want to add the J and the P. J and P for your bzip. And then do a project right there, dot tar dot bz2. And, and then I can take the project and pass it in there. So it creates my project dot tar dot bz2. To decompress it, I can either uh, b unzip2 on the file and then extract it with tar. Or I can use a tar xvf and then a jnp on this project tar bz2. So that will extract it. Um, anyway, that's how you do compression and decompression using the bzip2 utility.